Hello, uh, belated on the whistle report today because I actually missed yesterday's game attending to other business. Um, I've now watched it all back. It depends on I probably needn't have bothered. Not the most eventful match. Arsenal nil, Hull nil. Uh, a very unwelcome result, really, given what a hectic and difficult schedule we have coming up over the next few weeks. A replay away at a, a strong championship side is not ideal, but they probably merited it. I mean, Arsenal didn't really do enough. It's not so much about not taking the chance we created. It's about the the fact that the chances we did make weren't great ones. I think we could have been far more effective in the final third, moving the ball around, stretching Hull's defence. Even with a heavily rotated side, we had the capacity to do that. That being said, the goalkeeper, Jakubovic, uh, made a number of good saves. Um... One that stood out for me was one, uh, the one from the Joel Campbell free kick, which struck the post and uh, deflected Danny Welbeck's shot. In terms of positives, I suppose Welbeck, you know, coming back into the side, getting some minutes under his belt, looking pretty sharp in doing so, that's a good thing. Alex Awobi, another uh, good cameo from him. Um, but, I mean, beyond that, not not a great day, really. And obviously... It'll be a very different eleven who face Barcelona in a few days' time, but we'll also have to hope for a very different kind of performance because we, we probably won't get the uh, same opportunity to dominate possession. And when we do have the ball, we have to be much more efficient. If we are to do that, we need Alexis Sanchez to look like a player transformed from the guy who came on against Hull. It was a pretty distressing cameo from, from him. Um, he was all over the place. And... Uh, you know, obviously we hoped he would hit some form before his former club came to visit. He hasn't really done that. Maybe that will be the game that sparks him into life. We have to hope so. Other than that, just a, a quick note on the refereeing. As frustrated as Arsenal will be, they probably ought to have two penalties to their name from this game. Mike Dean twice denying us what looked like fairly clear shouts. The first for a handball uh, inside the penalty area by Alex Bruce. And the second for a, a tackle on Callum Chambers. But I suppose we shouldn't be too surprised uh, by that. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. All eyes now on Barcelona. Um, what a tremendous showpiece occasion that will be. Uh, and fingers crossed we can get a positive result. It would be a great night. If you think of back to the 2-1 victory with Arshavin in 2008 or whenever it was, um, despite the fact we were ultimately eliminated in that tie, that is still remembered probably more fondly than most memories of the Emirates Stadium, and that shows you what these these nights and these games are capable of producing. Um, so, fingers crossed, we see another one like that with a better second leg as well. Okay, cheers, guys.